tries are always exciting. But when you put them on a dirt track like this half-miler at El Doro, then add a name like Jan Opperman to the lineup, well, you've got all the ingredients for a grade-A thriller. Four heat races had been run prior to this 40-lap main event. Lee Osborne won the first one, Raleigh Beal took the second, Don Nordhorn grabbed the third heat with Opperman winning the fourth. The push trucks get all cars off and underway on a wet, tacky track. George Schneider in the black number two has the pole position with 81 Lee Osborne alongside. Starting third in car number 90 is Jan Opperman. The fourth position belongs to 24 Gary Bettenhausen. The third row is anchored by Sheldon Kinzer in car 20 and Tom Bigelow in 55. These are the front runners that bring a snarling pack of cars out of the fourth turn for the green flag, and they're gone. Snyder leaps off the pole to take the lead in the second turn, but watch Opperman, he's got it all wound out. Woo. Jan had it all crossed up and did a slider under Snyder to take the lead in the fourth pocket. Now Opperman is number one with George Snyder hanging in for second. track moist and tacky the drivers are getting a groove high or low opperman has given that number 90 a tremendous ride as opperman and snyder begin to lap the field a car in front of jan kicked up a rock it flew back and hit him in the face Jan's mouth is bleeding, and it was later learned he had a couple of loose teeth. There goes the first car behind the wall. Number 25, driven by Jackie Howerton, pulls off with engine trouble. There goes another one heading for the pits. This time it's car 20, Sheldon Kinzer with a blown engine. Watch this. That's Bill Pewterbaugh. He just blew the engine and right in front of Opperman. Jan buries his foot in the binders to avoid hitting Pewterbaugh, and George Snyder screams through in the low groove to take the lead. Snyder is out in front, but Opperman works him over in every turn. He's a strong competitor and gives his opposition no rest. comes, Opperman looks like he's catapulted out of the fourth turn when he flies underneath Snyder to regain his lead. He worked George Snyder over for four laps, high and low, finally setting him up for the pass in the pocket. Now it's Opperman, Snyder, and Bruce Walk up third. Victory lane in sight, Opperman pours it on. Number two, Snyder is second. Third is car four, Bruce Walkup, with Lee Osborne running fourth.
white flag. One more lap and Jan gets the goodie. Out of the fourth turn down the front, Schumann under the checkered flag. Jan Opperman hits pay dirt in his second USAC race of the year. The week before, he finished second at Reading Speedway. A tired, bloody, but unbowed Jan Opperman pulls his racer into victory lane. Another track, another trophy. And the legend from Beaver Crossing, Nebraska continues on. Well, I don't know whether we put this show in victory lane or not, but at least it's over. We'll be back next week at this same time. Until then, this is Bud Lindemann reminding you to drive carefully. It'll keep you out of the body shops, both of them. Bye-bye.